What do you think you're doing? Examining your son. Excuse me? There's something wrong with him. He was perfectly fine before you showed up. What the hell do you think you're doing with my son? I have my flaws and failings. Hurting children is not one of them. How did something just happen to him? Well, that's a metaphysical question that's way beyond my power to answer. Why are you being so cryptic right now? You need to unclench, lady. First of all, do not call me lady. Second, I don't have to unclench. And third, don't tell me to do anything. Drop the attitude and pay attention. Your son is sick. What do you mean Danny's sick? What's wrong with my son? May I? You see this patch of red dots? Yeah, I already knew they were there. Would you think the kid got a tattoo when you weren't looking? No, for your information, I was going to take him in to get checked up, but I was too busy getting smeared by your lawyer. Fighting me for custody of Rafe was a waste of time. You should have taken Danny to the doctor instead. What are you saying, that I'm unfit to protect one kid because I was looking after the other? What I'm saying is maybe you should have been a little more concerned about your own son. son my son concerned. has a rash. What he has is a lot more serious than that. Uh, uh. Is this what you call bedside manner? You look at my son's rash and you're trying to tell me that he's seriously ill? A rash like that would not result in swollen lymph nodes, which he's, your son is also presenting. He's getting over a cold and he's having a little trouble shaking it, but he's he's fine. He's, I, I mean, I'm going to take him to the pediatrician tomorrow. I rescheduled his appointment. He's, he's going to go. Take him to the hospital today. Take him now. Oh, you're deliberately trying to scare me. It's not my life you're putting at risk. It's your son's. You know what? Go to hell. OK. Come on, Danny. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Want me to maybe use that bad word? Don't listen to that bad man. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's just trying to scare mommy. You're fine. Yes, you're gonna be just fine. I Saved by the bell. No, you can't just show up here like this, okay? The judge hasn't even hey, made a decision. Hey, I will be notifying my mother that you're here because I'm sure it's a violation of some rule or statute since you don't have custody, and now you're never going to get it. It's very impressive, Molly. It's too bad your sister didn't have you representing her in court today. I mean, it wouldn't have changed the outcome, but it might have made things a little less one-sided. You don't have custody. You don't get to see Rafe. Well, then it's a good thing that's not why I'm here. It's not? No, is Sam, um, is Miss Morgan here? No. Mm -hmm. well, maybe she took my advice. About what? Patrick, can you help me? Yeah, what's going on? I don't know. There's this doctor. I, I barely know him, and to be honest with you, I don't trust him. And he said that Danny's sick, and okay. I just want to be safe. So can you take a look at him for me, please? <laughs> Why do you want to see my sister? I'm sorry, is your name Sam? No. Well, then this doesn't concern you. Are you always this much of a jackass? I guess you're going to find out. Rafe, the judge is going to find in my favor. I know it's going to be an adjustment for you, but you belong with me. Oh, in New York City? There's a big world out there, kid. Open your mind. You might like it. Good night. Just forget about him, Rafe. He's so not worth it. For all we know, this could be my last night in poor Charles, Molly. Which is exactly why you need to find TJ and patch things up. Before it's too late. See? Right there. Yeah, these little red dots. When did they appear? Um, a couple of days ago. Oh, are you okay, buddy? Yes, and his lymph nodes are swollen, too. Yeah, they appear that way. You know, I was going to bring him in for his one-year checkup in about a week or so, but I figured... You know, uh, I would just bring him in now so I could stop worrying because it's probably nothing. I mean, it's nothing, right? Has his health been okay otherwise? Yeah, perfect. He's, he's big and strong. He's actually in the top 90th percentile for his height and weight. He sleeps really well. He obviously eats like a champ. The only thing I've really been worried about is this cold because he hasn't really been able to shake it. Any allergies that you know of, sir? No, not that I'm aware of. Okay. But they don't really show up right away all the time, do they? Well, not always. Do you think it could be his beta thalassemia? Oh, I don't think so, but we'll take a look. I really thought that his cold was nothing, and then 
this doctor. He made me think that my son had the plague or pneumonia or something, and then my mind just started going in all kinds of directions. And Yeah, I get that. Every time Emma has a fever, I freak out the same way. Yeah, it just it starts racing, and you can't make it stop. Well, especially after the year that you guys have had. I will, um, I'll take some blood, all right? Okay. We'll get some tests. We'll, we'll do this one step at a time. Okay, okay. thank you. There you go, buddy. All done. Oh, All done. Okay? You're a champ. <laughs> yes, he is, because he's just like Jason. He's got his genes, you know, and his superpower strength. Oh, I don't know about that. His mom appears to be pretty tough herself. I'm going to get this down to the lab and get him to put a rush on it, okay? Okay. Can I take him home? Yes, I think you can. Whatever's going on, I don't think he's in any danger. Just the most important thing right now is to try and get some sleep, and we'll know the results tomorrow. Uh, yeah, well, that, my friend, is easier said than done. All right, just try and put it out of your mind. And, of course, if anything happens, just give me a call or call his pediatrician, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you for humoring me. Of course. Me. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye, bud. Hey, you know what? I think Patrick was right, and Mommy is just a little overprotective, especially after the year we've had. You're going to be just fine. Yes, you are. I hope you don't mean that. You know, lying to yourself is one thing. Don't tell that little boy he's okay, because he's not. Are you stalking me? No, relax. I just want to make sure you got Danny checked out. For your information, yes, I did. I had blood work done, and the results will be in tomorrow. These people didn't tell you what he's got? No, they said it could be a few different things. No, Sam, it's not a few different things. It's just one thing. <laughs> really? What's that? It's cancer. <laughs>